Good morning, lovies. I hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend. <sighs> My weekend has been a little crazy. So I'm going to take you to a place that I don't normally take you because the lighting is not the best. That's one thing about mobile homes, um, and my mobile home especially. <laughs> my mobile home is a newer mobile home. It is a 2019 mobile home. And one thing about the newer mobile homes, which doesn't make no sense to me whatsoever, is they only put windows on one side of the home. So all of our windows are on this side. That's why I'm sitting right in front of the window because it's really good lighting. But there's no windows on the other side throughout the whole entire mobile home, which I find kind of ironic because like if there ever was like a high wind situation, tornado kind of situation, you know, they tell you the best thing to do is to open up, you know, windows on each side of your home so that the pressure doesn't build because that's how homes like tip over or, you know, like you see homes, they look like they exploded. It's because the pressure built up. But if you lift up your windows in a high wind or a tornado situation, um, the wind will pass through. You might have some damage on the inside, but like your home may not be a total loss. So especially with mobile homes, because mobile homes are not the best in high wind situations. So I'm like, wonder why they didn't do that. But because of that, um, in our bathrooms, we have two bathrooms, two full baths. They're at the very end of, of our mobile home. So our master bath, as you can see right there, that little light on, there's no window in it. And our other full bath is at the total opposite end of our mobile home, which we call the kids' bathroom. And there's no window in it either. So the lighting is a little, eh, but my bathroom really needs to be cleaned. And I have a small, tiny little Dollar Tree DIY project that I would love to do in there because we have been here now for two years, March 12th. And those pictures that have been hanging in there and the stuff that's in there kind of has been there for two years and I'm kind of bored with it. I get bored with stuff really easy. So I thought it'd be fun just to make a really quick, cute little Dollar Tree DIY. And then I got like a mason jar from the Dollar Tree and some Dollar Tree floral. And I'm just going to add a little something, something in there. And then I'm going to show you the really quick little project that I'm making from the DIY just so that I can take the pictures that I've had hanging in there for two years down and put something else up. I would really love, I'm going to show you this space. I'm going to show you the space that I'm talking about. I would really love to take those particular pictures down and I am making the little new sign that's going to go there and it's long and I would love to put a shelf here, but because of the space of my bathroom, I, I, I don't know if I can maneuver the camera enough for you to kind of tell, but the toilet sits right next to the big, and that's a huge like garden tub. So it's massive. <laughs> I might have to get in it to actually clean it. But because of the way the toilet sits right next to the tub, that's the side of the tub, the only side of the tub that you can get in. You know how sometimes you can get in on the opposite end? Well, we can't do that because the toilet sits there. So that's the only side that we can actually get in there to, to take showers. So my whole point of saying all of that is I, my, in my heart, what I would really love to do is put this big long sign that I'm making on there and a nice cute little shelf with like some floral on it. But if I hung a shelf there, it's just going to get knocked down every single time we have to get in and out of that tub because you have this like, like literally like you have like probably as wide as I am space to get in and out of that tub and you're very close to that wall. And if you had a shelf hanging there, either it's going to get knocked down or we're going to hit like the corner of our head or something. I just see bad things. So it's very disappointing because I would really love to hang a shelf there and make it look real pretty and put some decorative things on it. But in reality, I really can't because I can't tell you how many times somebody has gotten out of that tub and they kind of use the wall to like, because that tub is super high. When you see me clean it, you'll understand it's a big garden tub. It's supposed to be like the kind of tubs you can get in and like take a big, you know, like a jacuzzi bath in it like kind of thing. And it's very big. So people actually like put their hand on the wall to like step in or out of it because it's so high up. And I can't tell you how many times they've like, you know, when they're moving out, they've knocked that corner picture, that little teeny corner picture off the wall, which is no big deal because it's canvas. So in my mind, I'm like, well, if people accidentally knock that little canvas picture off, 
a shelf is going to be like dangerous. It just stinks because it would look so stinking cute and I'm all about cute. But not happening. So I've already got a five minute intro because I'm a blabber and I love to talk. <laughs> But I am going to take you in my bathroom today and I do want to apologize for the lighting. The lighting, I don't think my video is going to be as crystal clear as it is right now. I mean, I have a really good camera and all that, but, and I'm going to turn the light on as high as I can get it, but mobile home lighting is not the best and the space is too small because I do have professional lights, you know, one year my husband for Christmas bought me all the YouTuber stuff. So I do have professional lights, but there's no way I'm getting a camera tripod and the big, like, big photo lights in this bed. There's just no way. <laughs> and me, and me in there trying to clean it. There's just no way. That's not happening. That's, that's a disaster waiting to happen. So we're just going to have to make do with the light that's there. And, um, I'm not doing no, like, major, you know, I don't even know what you would call cleaning because cleaning the bathroom, I don't care what time of the year it is. It's always the same thing. It's deep cleaning. I mean, it's the bathroom. So <laughs> I'm doing regular cleaning and then I'm just going to do some cute little touch ups in there with some things that I have in the house and my own DIY just to make it look fresh and new, just something different, change out the pictures, put a little bit of greenery in there just to make it look fresh and new. So I thought I would just take you along with me. If you need some motivation, because I don't know about you, now that I've cleaned my stove, that is my net, that is like my next thing. The bathroom and the stove now are like my, oh God, it's my least favorite thing to clean. So I'm trying to motivate myself with, well, if I change, if I do a cute little DIY and change out the pictures and maybe add some cute greenery, it won't be as bad. So if you need that kind of motivation too, that's what today is all about. So my intro is seven minutes long. I'm sorry about that, but I'm a blapper. <laughs> I hope you had a great weekend. And okay, I'm going to quit procrastinating because that's what I seem to do. My intros are my procrastination to cleaning. Even though I really want to make my channel about lifestyle and cleaning and cleaning motivation and just motivating people in general, just lifestyle videos, being real. We're just real people living life, mobile home living kind of thing doesn't mean I always enjoy doing what I have to do and I use talking to you sometimes it's an excuse not to do what I need to do because if I'm being honest with you who really wants to go in their bathroom and clean their bathroom I don't but I'm gonna do it so let's go okay lovies this is the before this is what we're working with my bathroom is small I mean, it's a decent sized bathroom, but it's small. Um, it's definitely got a lot of stuff going on and it definitely needs cleaned. It is dirty. Uh, no lie. <laughs> when I say my bathroom needs to be cleaned, my bathroom needs to be cleaned. It is dusty. There's toothpaste all over everything. I don't know how toothpaste gets all over our mirror and our side cabinet, but it does. Hello! And um, yeah. It's definitely, and all of this needs to be cleaned and organized. And this is the master bathroom closet. The closet is in with the bathroom, but uh, that closet is for another um, hot spot deep cleaning kind of thing. See all the toothpaste on the cabinet? And I want to do all that. Like I want to make all that look fresh and new. So without further ado, let's put on some pumping music and get this done because this bathroom needs cleaned right now.
to move on to the DIY portion of this video. So I have a couple of these Easter signs that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and then I have some of these wall clings that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm only going to be showing you one of these today because I'm only using this particular one that says wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. In this particular, um, sh in this particular video, I'm going to be using some um, white acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. I also have some chalkboard paint because I'm going to be flipping this over and painting that. And then I'm using a, a sponge brush from the Dollar Tree, and then I have that really cool fan brush. Now that fan brush came from Michaels, but it's very important to finish my DIY. But the first thing we got to do is take all the stuff off of our little signs here. I just used a butter knife and popped them right off. The feet and the eyes and everything, they come right off. 
And then I pull out the string to hang the signs and I use a little teeny tiny bit of caulk that my husband had to fill in the holes on the one end but if you have some putty putty probably would work better but this is what I had and then I don't show it but after I'm done with it and it dries up a little bit you just take a little bit of sandpaper or whatever you have to just take off the extra edge like the gook off of it so when you paint it's a smooth paint and then I'm going to put down the white acrylic paint that I got from the Dollar Tree down on it I let the caulk dry just a little bit more and it took two coats and I didn't like m want it to be white white so it was okay that a little bit of wood showed because I want this to look very rustic. So after I get enough coats down and I think it looks pretty good and like I said I can see just a little bit of popping through it doesn't matter to me because I really want this to look rustic. I just take a little bit of that white acrylic paint and a little bit of that black chalk paint. I mix it to make like a gray color and I use the fan brush and dry brush it on all in one direction that's very important so that your streaks or your distressing looks all even and the same and I'm just gonna keep applying it until I feel like it looks distressed enough to me almost like faux wood and then I go over it with just a little bit more of that white acrylic paint um, over the gray just to dull it just a little bit because I don't want it to be too strong and then I'm probably going to go over it when I on the sides almost like I'm framing out the sign and I'm just using straight black now and I'm fan brushing that on as well dry brushing it but that fan brush makes like really unique streaks and again I'm doing it all kind of in the same direction so that it all kind of like looks the same and then I'm going to take the um, little um, wall clings and I'm just gonna fool around with them until I feel like I get them in the right positions they're spaced evenly and they look centered on the um the little i don't know what you call it the little sign now <laughs> so i fool with this for a few minutes just to make sure that i get it the way i want it and this basically cost me like three dollars because the sign the wall cling and the white paint from the dollar tree was each a dollar so for three bucks i got a nice cute little sign and then all i'm going to do is take some you'll see it when i go to hang it up in the bathroom is i'm just going to take some droop top twine make a loop and hot glue it on the back to be able to hang it on the wall I recruited my husband to help me hang up my pictures and when you see this get up guys if you have any ideas for like a shelving or even after I hung this up I was thinking well, what about a towel rack maybe a towel rack hung up beneath this picture I would really love to put something with this new little DIY sign that I made it just it looks really cute I love it but it looks really flat because it's just this single little picture but if you guys have any ideas please leave them down in the comments I would love to hear your suggestions but my husband and I get the sign hung up and we do a little something something over by the mirror as well and here I am I'm just showing you see how I use the little jute twine to make the little loop in the back of the sign to get it hung up and there it is it looks so stinking cute I just love it but I think it needs a little something so if you guys have any ideas like I said please leave them down in the comments I would love to hear it so what I'm doing over here is I'm taking the pictures that I had over in front of the toilet and putting them on the side of this cabinet and as you can see above where my husband is hanging them I put the little uh, mason jar I painted it black I put some floral from the DT in there and I kind of have it draping over the cabinet so that when all of these are hung up they look really really cute I add a little butterfly in a little jar to make it look cute up on top of there and I think this all turned out pretty cute it's just like a cute little refresh I would love to do more decorating in here but I'm a little limited on space so if you guys have any ideas like I said before I'm totally open for a suggestion okay lovies here is my little refresh I really like how it turned out you guys like the pictures over there on the cabinet after I did that too I was thinking you know I could have made this sign long ways instead of you know that way and I could have hung that over there but I like the little change I think it looks great and then I'm gonna show you the bathroom completely clean I, it really looks much better in my personal opinion but like I said it's just a quick little refresh but I definitely want to do some different things in here so I'm really open for suggestions and I would love to really have some kind of like towel rack in here I would love to have one on the space on the other side of this door but when you tried to open up the door the door would hit the little the little towel rack so 
the space is a little odd. The bathroom's shaped weird, but I would love to do something in here. I just don't know what it is. I would love to do a little bit more, and especially where I put the brand new sign um, about, you know, Jesus and germs are everywhere. So if you please, if you have any suggestions, I'm totally open. But I love how that turned out. That looks so stinking cute. Wouldn't a shelf look adorable under that? But maybe a towel rack, maybe a towel rack will help with that. I'm not sure. But you just let me know if you have any suggestions. I'm totally open to them. But that is it for me today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some good cleaning motivation. And simple DIYs from the Dollar Tree always make a space look adorable. And sometimes you just need to do a little quick refresh just so that you feel good about your space that God has blessed you with. Whether it's a mansion or a mobile home, be grateful for what God has given you. Until next time, guys, take care of you, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, loveys.